click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hey guys, Russ here. Welcome back to another fantastic organic chemistry video. And today, we're going to talk about bases and bases. For the following molecule, predict which proton will be the most acidic. This is a very common question. We love this question as professors because it can test you on numerous different things in the same question. So it's kind of a nice question, really. So now we have to decide how many different types of protons are there. Well, there's the aldehyde proton. There's the methylene and the methyl. So there's three types of protons. Now I'm going to give you a, a, some information real quick. Aldehyde protons are not acidic. Uh, for reasons we'll get into some other video, perhaps. But they're not acidic. So let's just leave the aldehyde out of this. Aldehyde protons, not acidic. Let's talk about the methylene versus the methyl, however. So let's react each proton. Let's just draw the methylene in here. Always have hydronium. Here's the methylene deprotonated. And the methylene, of course, the methylene is negative at this point because it's lost a proton. And let's resonate. There you go. Let's resonate it back. Now we could, we could resonate to here and go back to where we were, but I don't want to waste time doing that. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to jump over that carbon, move the pi bond over to here, and, and put the lone pair up there. That's what I'm going to do. It just saves a step. And on an exam or something, saving a step is probably something you definitely want to try to do. There you go. So those are the resonance forms for that conjugate base. Let's go back to the beginning and let's start with this methane or this methyl. We've already done the methylene, so now we'll do the methyl. So now we're going to react it with water as we always do. And that's going to give you hydronium, of course. And this anion. There we go. Now, of course, that's going to resonate to give you... Oh, getting a little short on space here, guys. Sorry. I'll try to fit it in down here. We're almost done. There you go. So now this particular base only has two resonance forms. Two. This other one has three. Now, granted, one of those three has the anion on carbon, but well, the other two put the anion onto oxygen, and that's a good deal. Putting anions onto oxygen is a good deal. If you can do that, that makes your resonance forms major contributors, right? So in this case, this is a major contributor. This is a major contributor. That's a minor contributor. So the two major ones have octets everywhere, and the anion is on an electronegative atom. That's a really good thing, okay, in terms of stability. It's a really good thing in terms of stability. The bottom one, the blue one here, only has one resonance form where the anion is on the electronegative atom, oxygen in this case, and one where it's on carbon. So that's not as good. So this conjugate base is more reactive than this conjugate base. That means, that means, in the end of the day, that the methylene protons here are more acidic. Because when you deprotonate it, the anion can resonate to one oxygen, uh, sorry, yeah, here, and then the other. That's much more stable in terms of reactivity towards a proton, okay? So that's how you would determine which proton is more acidic. And yes, after you do this, practice this a while and get used to it, you can start doing this in a more efficient way, like maybe just in your head. But for now, you're an organic chemistry student faculty are going to want to see that you can do something like this to demonstrate to them that you understand not only are they more acidic, but why they're more acidic. All right. So guys, if you like this video, go ahead and slap that like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know the kind of problems that you're working on in your class. And maybe I can help you and get, do a personalized video just for you. If you would, please subscribe to my YouTube channel 
It really does help me out. It keeps my channel growing, keeps me motivated to keep making more content for you guys. So with that, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon. Email drbets at protonmail.com if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.